I wasn't really planning to do a video talking about this uh, today, but you know, I felt like it was a very important reminder for all of us because you know we are living in a time of social media and a lot of people are wanting to be famous on social media or well known and well liked and i get it right we all have this innate need to be liked and loved i get it we are living in a time though of an extreme gender war and we already had the wave of feminism feminism is still very much there today and a lot of people are participating in a lot of feminist activity and rhetoric and it's causing a lot of men to be upset and to feel negatively judged and it's also at a time where a lot of men are having a difficult time finding a suitable wife and that's extremely frustrating, I can imagine, for a lot of men today. And with that, because a lot of us women, and, and I've mentioned this in other videos too, but I kind of want to um, hunker down on this point today a little bit. A lot of us, especially people who lean more conservative, we see what's going on with men and how men are constantly being denigrated. And we want to jump in and say, hey, that's not right. Don't treat men that way. And I get it. And I'm one of those people, right, where I'm just like, hey, if I see something going on where somebody's being treated negatively or unfairly, I feel a strong need to speak out about it. But one of the things I'm seeing today, and this is something that I believe a lot of us Christians and even people who are more conservative need to be careful of. And even if you're not even conservative, you don't fall into a group. You know, just be careful of this, right? Especially a lot of more red pill people that you don't get to the point where you're so focused on, like, I'm, I have to defend men, I have to defend men, that you end up putting women down. And, and why am I expounding on this point today? Because I'm seeing this a lot and I'm seeing this with popular people in the conservative community. A lot of men and women are very angry with each other as a whole. And I think one of the important things we have to realize is who started this? Who's behind the gender war? And you'll often hear me talk about things like this, the evil powers, right? They're behind it. They want men and women at odds with each other. That's all part of their plan. Because if we are focused on battling with each other, then we are not focused on defeating them together. So it's not men versus women or women versus men. It's both of us versus evil. And that's one of the things I want us to stay focused on. Now, another thing I want to make sure I am extremely clear about, there are women out there who are loose, selling their bodies, doing destructive things, and just overall making our society worse. Okay, we have to point that out and be very clear about it. Yes, I get it. And women who are doing destructive things like that, those kinds of women need to be called out because they need to realize it is not okay to behave that way. Okay, and, and that's a completely different video that I want to make sure I touch on. So we're not here saying, oh, don't say anything negative about women. No, what I'm saying is when you say negative things about women as a whole, when you generalize, that becomes a problem. Are we just talking about women as a whole are bad people? Because we see that overall, there are unfortunately a lot of men who are mad with women in general okay we're just going to keep it real with that and then on the opposite end of the spectrum you have a lot of women who are just overall mad with men and i want us to realize what's going on here so that we can know how to defeat it again to make my point very clear don't generalize that is what i have the problem with i don't have an issue with women being called out for doing bad things I don't have an issue with men being called out for doing bad things, okay? 
People who do bad things should be called out. But let's just make sure that we aren't getting to the point where we're so frustrated with only one particular group of people that we're just like, oh, forget them all. All right. I've heard women say, and I've heard a red pill women say this. She said, women are for the streets. There are no good women and it's no wonder men are angry. You know, she's the kind of person who talks like that. And with a lot of her videos where she's denigrating women, she gets a lot more views on those videos. Right. But the the videos where she's been a little bit more neutral and balanced and, you know, it's not anything juicy where it's like, oh, women are this or that, then the views drop. And then there are women within the conservative community who are starting to pick up on that trend. I can see where the conservative community is starting to blend with the red pill community. Right. People are cashing in on this. No, I'm not going to say that everybody's intent is to cash in and gain views. But unfortunately, I do think a lot of people are loving the attention they're getting when they're putting women down and they're saying, I'm completely siding with men. And then men are running and saying, see, look at this woman. She's so amazing and great. And listen, and I don't know if, I, if I've already made this point clear in the video, but I want to make it very clear right now. When I see these crazy things happening where men are being put down they're being talked about negatively and these injustices are happening with men. I feel the need to speak out about it. You know, as a woman, you know, I believe it just adds a little bit more boost to the message that you should not treat men badly. But we have to be careful that we don't get to the point where we're now going to the complete opposite end of the spectrum where we're saying, okay, I'm defending men, but now I'm at a point where I'm going to put women down and I'm going to call women crazy. I'm going to say women are for the streets. I'm going to say there are no good women out there and I, I'm not going to be fair about it and, and talk about how, you know, both genders can have their positives and both genders can have their negatives. Because when you do stuff like this, you think that you're defending a certain group of people and you feel like you're doing the right thing. But what you're actually doing is you're contributing to the whole gender war. And that's a problem. You don't have to go to the extreme side and say, oh, I'm only defending women, which is what feminists do. Right. And you don't have to go to the extreme opposite end and say, oh, no, I'm, I'm just going to defend men. and I'm going to focus on that. And I'm going to talk about all of these negative things about women. You don't have to do that. You can be neutral, right? You can be objective. You can be fair. And you can be a peacemaker. And I want that to serve as a reminder for conservatives, people on the left, doesn't matter what political affiliation you have, right? God has called us to be peacemakers. He said, blessed are the peacemakers. So anyway, I just wanted that to serve as a reminder. We're not jumping on any bandwagons for views and subscribers and money or whatever the case may be, right? You are fair, you are objective, and you are a peacemaker. That is what it is all about to be a child of God. Okay, so anyway, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about this. Um, like I said, we are in a gender war. And I kind of want to hear your take on that. And is it just me or do you now see a lot of conservative people who are starting to blend in with the red pill community? And it's kind of fun and popular now as a conservative to denigrate women. I don't know. Let me know what you think, y'all. But anyway, that is all for now. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, take care. God bless you. And I hope to see you in the next one.